Hi ladies, hi gents. Um, I want to share a video with you today and it's a design team um, project for Wild Orchid Crafts, the Wild Bunch. Okay, so I'm just going to get straight into it. Let me just move that out of the way. Okay, so this is my project and it's a um, box, a 12 by 12 box. It do, does have glass in the centre but I've covered that up. Um, it's just like a tea box. Um, it's quite a thin one. It's a couple of inches deep. Okay, so this was plain wood. And what I did is I painted the whole thing um, like off-white cream. And then I did use that there you can see I left it. I can't remember whether I left it plain on the bottom. So that that's the wood with the, the white paint. You can just see the wood grain coming through. And um just on the base I have added some um ribbon sliders with flatback pearls as the feet. There. And flatback pearls are from Wild Orchid Crafts. And the product code is GST. One three two. Okay. So all round the edges, if I just open that a moment. So all round the bottom edge, I've used two laces, and these are just from my stash. Um, so I've got this beautiful, um, like embroidered lace, and then this tiny little lace over the top. And I've done that the whole way round the box. Um, right round and then on the top lip here I've used this scalloped lace all the way around and again this is from my stash and then on the very edge of the box I've used the same lace so it gives it a bit of um, dimension and I absolutely love the way that that layered up and it just fitted it perfectly and again I've done that all the way around the box okay and I've used the same embroidered lace on um, the edges all the way around I kind of wanted it to look um, a bit like bridal because the paper line I've used is graphic fortified 45 Le Romantique and I've been hoarding this for a long time and I thought I've got to use it I absolutely love this paper it's just stunning um, so that's the main focus for this piece and then on top of the, the layered paper I've just used some tiny trims to frame them and I did that all the way around um, the edges of the inside where where the glass piece was and I just absolutely love that and then I've used some bridal appliques which um, were very very slightly tea dyed and um, they were literally you know dipped in the tea dye just to give it a very subtle tea dye and I absolutely love them. So I've got appliques over here, down the bottom, and then up in this corner. Okay, so that's all the lace. Okay, so oh, and I've also used a flat back tiny pearl trim to edge as well, all the way around. Okay, um, okay, so I'm going to start down here, I think. So let me just zoom in. Um, so my theme was uh, cream and peaches, different shades of peaches to tie in with the paper line. Um, so I'll start with the bigger flowers. Here I've used uh, two of the cream trellis roses. And um, these are in the 40 mil. So they're the larger size. See a cat here. Okay, 
got it. Um, these are in the 40mm and the product code for these is MKX091. And then just peeping out either side and over here, I've used some of the um, Ivory Babies Breath and I absolutely love these. And the, you know, the, these ones. And they are so cute. I love the stamen popping out of them. They really are cute. Um, so I've just used those popping out um, between the flowers here. And the product code for these is MKX527. And they do have them in other colours as well. Um, so then either side of the large um, trellis roses, I've used some of the peach tone. And that's um, a mixed pack and it's peach and orange tone trellis roses. And these are the 35ml. And um, the product code for those is MKX093. So I've used two different peach tones and then two, two, two of each either side. Uh, what else have I done? Okay, I've used some of the um, uh, lily flowers, and again, this is in the peach orange tone set. And I've used uh, two different tones of these over here and around here. And um, the product code for those is MKX134. And I absolutely love these, they are so gorgeous. I've uh, then used some of the peach tone. Uh, carnations, which is another favourite, <laughs> and the product code is MKX107. And in here, there is a few of the um, Cosmo daisies as well. In the very, and you'll just see, just peeping out in here, in between. The flowers is some of the Cosmo daisies, and the product code for those is MKX126. And then at either end, I've just used a mixture of peach uh, hip rosebuds and cream hip rosebuds. Sorry, so there is a mixture of peaches and cream. So the uh, peach rosebuds, the product code is GST. 019 and for the ivory rosebuds it's GST 063 and I will pop all the product codes down below in the description box along with uh, links to the store and uh, Facebook group and um, any other links uh, for any of the other sites um, I think uh, the YouTube channel, that's it. I was trying to think what the other one link was. It's the YouTube channel. Um, please go check out the store because um, they've got some really, really beautiful new products in right now and they are stunning. Really, really stunning. Um, so, up in this corner, I've used a uh, lace butterfly here and then just put uh, this. Um, Prima Butterfly on top and um, I just love the way that looks and I did uh, slightly glimmer mist this to uh, sort of distress it enough to fit in with the, the colour scheme because the colour of the butterfly wasn't quite right so I used my sprays just to change it a bit and then up in this corner, again I've used some of the trellis uh, roses, some of the carnations, some of the lilies. I've got a tiny, tiny, uh, can you see that? I don't know. Let me see if I can zoom in enough. You just see there's a tiny cherub just peeping out here behind the roses. There is actually some doily pieces underneath the flowers. This flower here I made using the uh, foundation blooms and the product code for the foundation blooms is MKX172 and I just used multiple layers 
and um, just arranged it uh, to get the shape that I wanted. So I'm really thrilled how that turned out. I will take some photographs because um, obviously it's, it's a bit hard to see the detail. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's um, the top of the box and I'm really thrilled how it turned out. I just love the mixture of the laces with uh, the beautiful flowers. They really are stunning to work with. Okay, so just on the inside. I've just laid uh, paper down on the inside of the box. Again, that's from Graphic 45 uh, Le, Le Romantique paper. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, and I just whitewashed it a bit to tone it into the peachy colour. And okay, so I'm kind of going to have to do it like this. So this is the inside of the lid, so this is the back of the glass. Um, I've used two papers, I've used one of the polka dot papers in the background, which there isn't much that you can see. And then I've used this beautiful, beautiful paper. I absolutely love this. It's so stunning. As a focal point, and then I've just used uh, the scalloped lace that I used on the outside edge to frame this and then down here again I've used a couple of layers of foundation blooms with a, a peach um, lily as the centre and then I've also put a tiny tiny trim just around the edge and I absolutely love how that turned out um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to store in it yet um, but I am thrilled how it turned out. Um, so I really hope you like it and um, let me know what you think and um, I will um, of course put all the product codes down below in the description box and hopefully I'll be back very soon with another project. Bye for now.